How's it going you guys? Welcome back. So, I think everyone at some point in their life has really wished that they had the power to travel through time. And with the way things are going right now, I know some people out there would really love to travel into the future because I know that they would love to see with their own eyes what the future is really going to look like. Is it going to be like the Jetsons with flying cars? Or are we heading towards a future where the movie Judge Dredd is actually going to happen in real life? Nobody knows. But if there ever was an option and you can only pick one and that's going into the future or going back to the past, I know that a hell of a lot of people would love to sign up and travel back in time with the knowledge that they know now. Like going back in time because you have the winning lottery numbers. Everyone has their own unique reasons on why they would love to travel back in time. But if there is one thing that every time traveler who goes back in time has in common, it would be buying a crap ton of Bitcoin and a whole bunch of stocks that you know are going to go up. Now I know time traveling sounds really cool up front, kind of like owning that really expensive dream car of yours, but I bet as soon as you find out how much it's going to cost to get a full tank of gas, you will seriously think twice about owning that dream car of yours. Because if gas prices don't scare you, then I guarantee the crazy prices that auto mechanics charge to fix your car will. Just wait until you hit your first serious pothole that you didn't see coming in the middle of the street. As soon as you get Get a look at that giant car bill that your mechanic charges you to fix it, you're seriously going to wish that you had a different car. But anyway, enough about cars, we're talking about time traveling. Time traveling sounds really cool up front, but when you really think about it, you're seriously limited on what you can do. Going back in time is the most popular, and that's why I'm going to focus on that one, because all it takes is just one little tiny thing to happen in the past, and serious repercussions can happen in the future. You may have accidentally stepped on a bug in the past and now a certain insect species has gone extinct and mother nature's natural food chain has seriously been disrupted causing an ecosystem disaster I know the idea of time traveling sounds cool but you honestly really can't do much or change anything because so many things can go wrong and if anyone thinks traveling back in time to stop a serious major historical event from happening is a good idea don't do it because for starters no one is even going to believe a single word that you're saying when you're only trying to help I'm from the future because that's so gonna work out honesty is not the best policy you could be trying to tell everyone to prepare for a virus that's going to happen in 2020 and people will not only think that you're a madman but will also think that you are crazy and even when they realize the whole time you were telling the truth the government is going to want to know how did you know such a virus was going to happen. Who are you? I think by now you catch my drift. The goddamn men in black are going to show up in front of your house and they're going to have some serious questions for you. The next thing you know, you're sitting in a small room that has a giant mirror on the wall with a couple of men in black agents sitting across the table in front of you. They're going to slam their hands on the table and say, who the hell do you work for? Is it the goddamn Russians or is it the Chinese? Who is it? The United States of America spends billions and billions of dollars on national security. So you're really going to have to find a really good way to explain how you foiled Lee Harvey Oswald's plan to uh, get President Kennedy at the time. Best case scenario, if you fess up and tell the truth and the men in black believe that you're from the future, you can enjoy your one-way ticket to Area 51 with the rest of the aliens they captured. Worst case scenario, you will end up in a sponge room where you can't escape and spend a very, very long time there. And that's why I think the most you can do when it comes to traveling back in time without rocking the boat too much is to really see for yourself what really happened and that's about it. And you can find out if the movie National Treasure with Nicolas Cage really is true with the Declaration of Independence actually being a treasure map. I know time traveling sounds pretty far-fetched and very impossible, but can someone please explain to me how The Simpsons keeps predicting the future? Donald Trump becoming president is one thing and maybe that was just a big coincidence but if you watch the episode of The Simpsons with them predicting Jovid-19, it really makes you wonder about time traveling. Go on YouTube and check that episode out, and you tell me what you think of it. Was that also a coincidence, or is someone at Simpsons headquarters secretly a time traveling agent that we don't know about? I have no idea, but I will let you decide on that one.
But that'll be it for this video. Leave me a comment down below. If you can only pick one, travel back in time or go into the future, what would you pick? So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.